I started as a postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, San Francisco. So the projects I worked there uh, was, uh, one of the projects was on uh, breast cancer research. So breast cancer, as you all know, many of you might know about this, that there are, the estrogen receptor is a major uh, component of the treatment option in the, in the uh, breast cancer. So if there is an estrogen receptor, uh, uh, then there is a, a, a drug to inhibit the function of the estrogen receptor because the uh, estrogen receptor is known to uh, promote the uh, uh, proliferation or the uh, cell division of the cancer cells. So when I started the project, I was um, working on a second type of receptor, the function of which was not known. The first one, we all know that it promotes cancer. The second receptor, which was discovered later, uh, nobody knew what's the function. So I uh, worked on it and it took a time, a while to develop uh, the systems. And what we found and we published in 2004 was that the second type of receptor um, inhibits the breast cancer proliferation. So that was very exciting finding and that uh, we published it with a cell culture model, animal model, and uh, that paper has got very good citations. So then I moved to a company which was started in the lab based on these findings and other findings. And um, I worked in the industry for some time. Uh, and um, uh, later on, I came back to UCSF and, and currently I'm working in UCSF uh, uh, in the cell therapy unit. So there um, we are working on these exciting new projects um, which are um, you know, uh, uh, developing at a fast rate. There are a lot of companies working in this area. Uh, developing newer and newer uh, methods of treating um, uh, many diseases with uh, cell therapy. So um, uh, the, the labs I work uh, were all uh, 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 leaders, uh, pioneers in many techniques and the uh, methodologies, and especially the current lab I'm working. Uh, the many many of these findings were discovered in the lab, so that got translated to the clinic and, um, and uh, not only disease conditions like transplantation. So uh, transplantation, autoimmune disorders. So um, this is a very exciting time for immune, immune based therapies uh, in both uh, uh, cancer, autoimmunology, autoimmune diso uh, disorders and um, uh, uh, many other conditions. So that's that this kind of training uh, and the exposure to industry uh, um, you know, uh, kept me going, and uh, uh, it, uh, it's an ever-changing field, and and I kept learning. Um, uh, it, it's very exciting uh, for me.